And now to our regular Friday Making a Difference report. And tonight, the story of some war veterans linking up on the links and finding a fair way to recovery. NBC's Chris Jancy reports. Tim Baumke still looks every inch the all-around athlete he once was, until you glance down. I got wounded by an uh, IED in northern Iraq in 2005. At 29, he lost his lower right leg and his sense of self. In your mind, you think you're able to get up and do things, but your body's telling you no. You make it look easy, Pepper. His world seemingly in tatters. Baumke was convinced to take up golf at the American Lakes Veterans Course. Much more than just a place to play, it's become a haven for wounded warriors. A saving grace delivered by other veterans who repair clubs, man the kitchen, and tend the grounds. Every dollar used to run American Lakes is raised by volunteers. Every job done by volunteers. When they needed a new sprinkler system, volunteers dug the ditches. Their average age, 72. It took us a little over a year because you could only work them every other day and then they'd have to rest. Uh. <laughs> Korea veteran Pepper Roberts is chief organizer and golf pro. His latest student, the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General John Shalikashvili. The general is facing the toughest battle of his life, recovering from a stroke. It's an excellent opportunity to show that because you have an, a physical or emotional injury, doesn't mean your life has to come to an end. Come on, come on, come on, come on. From his wheelchair, he's leading a new fundraising campaign for American Lakes to help vets like Joe Gerber. Nice to meet you, sir. Hi, I'm John Shawley. Gerber suffered traumatic brain injuries in Iraq. When you meet someone that's gone through exactly what you've gone through, you build a bond that can't be built by anything else. Helping to restore health and hope. There you go. One friendship, one helping hand, one drive at a time. Chris Jansing, NBC News, Lakeland, Washington. There you go.